while waiting for my new Seacocks to arrive, I dismantled the chain locker, um, took the face off in the door and sanded them down, epoxied the back and the edges. Um, and of course, when you do something, you find a bunch of other things. Uh, so at the top of the of the bow at the stem there's a bow plate that is screwed into the into the fiberglass but there was a plywood backing plate which was all frayed and not in great shape um, so I did fabricate a new one with some marine ply and coated it in epoxy uh, and it's it's drying there also I've gotten rid of the hose that drains this this locker um, I've epoxied in a floor here it's about two and a half inches from here and then probably another two inches once I uh, bed the face back on I'm going to uh, glass this on put a layer of fiberglass and then lastly drill about a half inch or three-eighths hole there with a um, clamshell uh, drain on the outside. Um, this is well above water level so there shouldn't be any problems there. So installing the hose pipe here I had to <clears throat> uh, enlarge this hole because the, the old one was a little bit smaller. Uh, I got this new one here. The cover it locks in the open position. Um, I did do the allen key trick to get some of the core here. It was a little challenging because it was epoxied plywood and it was really tough to get out. Um, and then I filled it with uh, thickened epoxy 406. So uh, it should be, should be nice when it's done. This is a nice shiny piece here. Also here on the bench I'm working on the plate that I mentioned that came off the stem uh, on the top of the bow. Uh, this solid aluminum. It was coated in black vinyl but it was peeling off and chipping so I scraped off what I could. The rest would not come off unless I hit it with a belt sander and that's exactly what I did. Um, I'm planning to uh, prime it and then use some of this truck bed coating which is uh, pretty durable. This is a Whale Gusher 10 pump, uh, an older one, may even have been original. This is what's uh, used to pump out the holding tank manually when you're not using the, the uh, deck pump out, um, uh, to pump out when you're out to sea. Um, it was very corroded inside. And what I did was I, I'm, I'm going to try see if I can salvage this even at least temporarily. I've, I've uh, put some West Systems epoxy uh, with 406 in there. Uh, some of the pits and stuff, I tried to fill those in. And here are those two pieces uh, with white primer, uh, white bare metal primer. Also uh, the valves for the pump. Uh, I've cleaned them up. We'll see how they work. I may have to replace them. Uh, this little uh, piece which holds the exhaust valve for the pump <clears throat> it's actually deformed, um, cracked. This actually came off. So I fashioned one out of uh, high density polyethylene using the old one as a template. Um, this stuff is really durable, indestructible even. Um, it's a little flexible so it'll conform a little better. The pump I'm, I'm going to see how this works. Even if it works I'm probably going to replace it. Um, you know I just want to see if I, if I could get this to work um, at least temporarily. Uh, if it does work I'll uh, keep it as a backup after I replace it so we'll see. And here's the pump after a few coats of paint ready for its final assembly with the clamp. Um, I use this school bus yellow. Um, yeah, so just need to test it out and if all is well, install it in a boat. 
Okay, so working on the Seacocks, um, I've <clears throat> removed the through hulls. Uh, they were solid bronze, so I, I saw no, no reason to replace those. <clears throat> Rebedded those with uh, 5200, 3M 5200. Um, of course, I had to take off the old backing block. Here's some of the remains. Um, and I used a uh, scraper attachment uh, on an oscillating multi-tool. Uh, one of them was actually epoxied, uh, but had no problem taking it off with that tool. So uh, for the backing blocks, I had a number of different choices here. <clears throat> of course, there's just plain old plywood, like what was on there. Um, then you can use uh, fiberglass sheets like G10, which a lot of people tend to do. Uh, it's a little pricey, I think. You can also buy the pre-made ones that grow co-cells, uh, also a little pricey. Wanted to do something, um, something different. So what I did was I took marine plywood and put eight layers of fiberglass on it, four on each side, um, and then epoxied it to the hull, both of them, uh, with thickened epoxy with uh, chopped chop strand in it. And here we have the completed sanitation and wash down. I keep calling it wash out, but it's a wash down system. And this jumble of hoses and valves is the finished product. The, this is the, um, the pump that I took apart and refinished. I tested it, it worked great. I'll be using that for now. Fully painted bow plate <clears throat> ready to be installed. Um, of course I'm missing one of the bolts because I had to cut it off uh, to remove it. Um, it was seized. Um, here's the old plywood plate that I removed and uh, fabricated a new one with epoxy, um, pregnated with epoxy. The final assembly of the top of the chain locker, hinged hose pipe. Was able to acquire uh, the same same uh, machine screw, which I had to cut. Uh, actually ended up replacing all of them because a couple of them were bent. Also installed a bow roller. The inside uh, face plate to the chain locker. Um, all the wood's been refinished. Um, I've been using a lot of these cupped washers, which I, I really like. So let me look. Not sure if you can see it. There's the tails to the bow light. Um, See the new backing plate to the top of the aluminum deck plate. Uh, all new hardware. There's an eye bolt for um, patching the anchor road too. Of course, new floor with drain. I've also um, sealed this with 4200.